Why, hello, you amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another anime openings reaction video. Today, today we're doing something a little bit different. This one is a pretty freaking random one. How many of you are familiar with the YouTube channel Watch Mojo? They're absolutely pretty freaking incredible. They do tons of these like top five, top 10, top 20 videos. And they did one a few months ago called the top 20 most popular anime songs of all time. And I thought this would be kind of interesting because there's 20 anime songs in here. They're measured by their popularity. So I'm actually curious, especially considering this came out last year. I'm curious to see how many of these I know and what is considered some of the most popular anime opening songs ever. And if they're going to be, op well, not openings. That's the thing. If they're going to be openings, they're going to be endings or OSTs. This is the most popular anime songs of all time. It's not even openings. So I thought this could be kind of a fun reaction. If you have any other like recommendations, compilation videos or anything like that that you would love to me to react to, make sure you put them in that comment section down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe as well before you leave a comment because it boosts your comment. No, I'm not joking. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to the top 20 most popular anime songs of all time. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 most popular anime songs of all time. Ah, uh, one of my favorite freaking openings there. The music from anime, Hunter Hunter's opening? Opening, closing, or insert themes mm -hmm. that have made the biggest splash. These aren't necessarily the best anime songs, though there is considerable overlap. Just the most widely listened to. Also, we won't be including any dub anime themes, otherwise Pokemon would absolutely be on here. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Interesting. I like that I like that they cleared that up at the beginning. They cleared that up by literally saying these aren't considered the best. They are just the most popular. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. That may, that's gonna be interesting. Also, huge shout out to Watch Mojo. They're fucking awesome. Uh, link to this video is in the description. Make sure you go watch it. Number twenty, Ichirin no Hana, Bleach. Okay, okay, okay. As one of the longer running action anime, you would have guessed I've Bleach heard. has many popular tracks. One of the All biggest of these, hits right? is its third opening theme, performed by rock band High and Mighty Color. Ichirin no Hana has an incredible ferocity throughout. The drums and vocals are fast paced, with the latter conveying both sadness and hope. <laughs> The song overall has a very unique feel, including elements of rock and metal, and even concluding with some downright terrifying screaming. Ichirin no Hana comes at just the right time to illustrate the increased cool video. intensity in Bleach, but its sound has been appreciated even by many who've never seen the show. How many of you have- what the fuck was that? How many of you haven't seen Bleach but love the music? <laughs> Just saying, just saying. There's tons of anime. That's, that's the cool thing about being in the anime world. I haven't seen Tokyo Ghoul. Fucking love Unravel is incredible. Everyone loves it. You've never seen the show. Let's rewind for that screen. I might need to listen to the full Number version of this, you know. Departure. Hunter Hunter. Oh, man. Most anime feature several opening themes over the course of their runs. Hunter Hunter got it right on the first try and didn't bother changing it. <laughs> uh, no! There's some slight variations in the lyrics, oh, but you won't see fans complaining. Sung by Ono Masatoshi, right. Departure uh, is a soaring optimistic tune that captures the spirit of adventure of Hunter Hunter. I gotta be real, Hunter Hunter is fucking awesome. It's awesome. It's such a good anime. If you haven't seen Hunter Hunter, you need to change that. I'm like, we're on like episode 60 or something at like now on Twitch. Um, and I have just loved it so much. Such a good anime. Such a good anime. Ono positively belts out the hopeful lyrics while the instruments conjure a relaxed yet daring vibe. Who knows if the series will get a continuation, but if it does, we can smile again, knowing that Departure will probably continue to open every episode. Number 18, Inferno, Fire Force. Much like the show it opens, Inferno is absolute fire. Performed by Mrs. Green Apple, Inferno is rife with flame imagery in its lyrics. The song is- I gotta say, I really like this song. I think it's a really good song. But personally, 
I think Fire Force opening two, or is it opening three, May Days, like, I think that is just, I gotta be honest, I prefer that. I really like Inferno, I do. But fucking Mayday's opening to on Fire Force is just incredible. It's become a massive hit, even outside the Fire Force fandom, charting big and receiving plenty of attention online. And given how hard it goes, it's not surprising. The agree, vocals hit some amazing high notes, and the guitar and drums complement. There's a giant bee trying to get my window, but the issue is my window is slightly open. So if it gets in here, you're gonna see a man freak out. Meant them perfectly. I do want to watch Fire Force. While Inferno blazes bright and falls into small lulls, ultimately and I'm a big it wraps up in a comforting fire. I'm a big fan of nuns. Never want to see go out. Saying. Who is it? They're pretty awesome. Number 17, Jojo Sonochino Sarame. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. The JoJo franchise has beloved music through and through, and while it's all popular, if we had to pick the most widely listened to, we're gonna go with its first opening. Man, JoJo, I can't wait the to one day watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It nearly won. blaring brass instruments and thumping drums. It nearly Meanwhile, the Hunter. powerful vocals by Tominaga Tomihiro Aki feel at once timeless and a no! throwback to classic anime songs of years past. How dare you kiss her? What's, what's the deal with the mask? Do I have to find out? Sonochi no Sarame is a hot-blooded melody that feels like distilled excitement. It's no wonder JoJo fans the world over can't get enough of it. Number 16, Kyoran and oh, Kids. Not yeah. a gummy. Arguably the sleeper hit of our list, mm. you shouldn't sleep on Kyoran Hey Kids. The oral cigarettes. Because it's a banger. It is. It is an absolute fucking banger by the oral cigarettes. It is a banger, banger, banger of a song. Performed by the oral cigarettes, this song is a downright funky rock number. The lyrics are quick and catchy, while the Just background music is nearly hands. indescribable. So good. Have you ever heard anyone wail on a guitar like that? So good. Kyoran Hey Kids gets so, nearly everyone who is hears it tapping their good? toes like, is it good, but I enjoy it. whichever device they listen to it on is she in so it they can hear it again. <laughs> we just want to hold your hands and just hold those notes forever. Noragami looks really cool. I do, I hope I get to watch it. It's weird when, you're, when your channel is literally controlled by you guys. Like all my reactions are picked by you. So I have no idea if I'll ever get to watch Noragami, but hopefully one day I do. Um, because I can't watch anime in my own time. I can only watch anime that's voted for by you guys, so you guys have to vote for it to me to watch it. Number 15, Lost in Paradise, Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen the may ending. only have one season under its belt so far, but it has blown everyone away on nearly every front, including musically. Bro, bro don't even know. Bro don't even know. Well, bro don't even know. Kai Kitan is also a massive hit. Its ending is arguably just as popular, if not more so. Lost in Paradise is performed by funk slash hip hop band Ali, with additional vocals by the rapper Aklo. Jojo Satori! Look at that guy this rocking tune the show. is remarkably versatile, with its smooth sound being great both to vibe to or as dance music. Lost in Paradise has garnered acclaim and attention, not just for its unbelievable swagger, but it has also inspired tribute versions as well as something of a dance craze. I the really song is feel just like... so blissful, we'll gladly get lost in it any oh, no. day. I really feel like... Number it would it would have been absolutely freaking hilarious if they just kept an opening of that kind of caliber for season two because you know how dark and messed up season two is. Can you imagine like just having like a uh, juju stroll at the end of the episodes on season two? It was like juju stroll. I can see why they removed it for season two because my word, I think there's a few episodes that would have felt massively out of place on. 14. Colors. Code Geass. Flow is a band that always knocks anime opening themes out of the park. I mean, you're the not wrong. Colors Flow, just dude, might just, be their masterpiece. Just, flow's just kick-ass. Flow do kick-ass, we can all agree. Then they do loads of the Naruto openings as well. They're as awesome. bright and energetic as the bits of the light spectrum that give it its name, Colors is as enduringly popular as Code Geass itself. 
The buttery smooth and endlessly catchy vocals are pushed into the stratosphere by the brassy, exciting accompaniment. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know this, by the way, we're currently watching Code Geass uh, on Patreon. We've nearly finished it. We're halfway through season two. Um, I'm very much enjoying it. It's a brilliant. If you want to watch my reactions to Code Geass, you can catch them on Patreon. Uh, link in the description. Patreon is $1 a month. Gives you access to everything. This is an absolute joy to listen and sing along to year after year. It has so many of our hearts soaring that if we didn't know better, we'd think Flo had the power of Geass themselves. It's just that good. Very cheesy line, but I like it. What? Number 13, again, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh. The first opening theme to Full Metal Alchemist's oh. second outing just hits different. Oh, such a, such a good opening. It does hit different. It's such a good opening. Its tone man. ranges from wistful to optimistic to action-packed, which is fitting considering the show it opens. Performed by Yui, the singer's such range is anime. spectacular, delivering mournful regrets really accompanied by acoustic guitar and piano, before upping the tempo and delivering the exuberant lyrics almost Aww. faster than the now hard rock instruments can keep up. <laughs> Again's popularity is no alchemic Such mystery, it just opening. slaps. Plus its name is perfect too, since by the time it's done playing, you'll be eager to hear it again. Such. And number 12, 10. I'm pausing just to compliment it, man. It's such a good opening. In my opinion, it is one of the best openings I've ever heard. It is fucking great. And I think, I think, <laughs> I think it hits on like two different levels, because the opening itself is very good, but it hits even harder, like even better, it like doubles in terms of awesomeness once you've finished Full Minute Alchemist Brotherhood. Cowboy Bebop. This is one of the first full openings I reacted to on YouTube. Actually, it's time to blow this scene, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Cowboy Bebop has one of the most beloved and varied anime soundtracks of all time, but easily the most recognizable piece of music from it is its opening. Performed by Seatbelts and orchestrated by the show's composer, Yoko Kano, Tank is an explosively jazzy number that's always fun to jam to. Primarily an instrumental song, it mixes a big band sound with unconventional instruments like bongos. It is pretty Tank is so effortlessly awesome. cool and yeah, universally it appealing it is. that it wouldn't feel out it of is. place in a classic noir or James Bond film. Nah, it, it has remained it popular for it decades is. for a it good is just reason. Pretty awesome. It is just pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Very weird, very bizarre, but pretty great. I'm looking forward to one day when you cover me off as well. Number 11, The Hero, One Punch Man. <laughs> the Hero brings the hype and oh, lives up to it. Yes. Performed by supergroup Jam Project, this song is bombastic. And We recently reacted to the full version of The Hero for the first time ever over on our second channel, GOT Extra. Go check it out, it's awesome. Also, you should subscribe to that channel, by the way. We're very close to 40,000 subscribers on it, and I upload two anime videos a day, and it's an anime-only channel. If you haven't subscribed to it, you are missing out. Over the top. Yet that's what makes it so beloved. No, he isn't. Well, he isn't. The he hero is. turns he everything is. from its wailing vocals to the intense fun. guitar and drums up to 11. It's a phenomenal such song to rock out to, such, and judging by its popularity, song. plenty of people have joined the singers in yeah. yelling out the lyrics. Yeah. It's honestly the perfect theme for a character as unstoppable and unpredictable as, as Saitama. Saitama. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, I love we that. are. Oh, uh, you know what? There yeah, have it had no to be on this list. Straw Hat Shanties over the years. Then yet, somehow, we always find ourselves coming back to its glorious first outing. It had to be on the list. 
We are on the Zoo. Before the likes of Haki, the world governments Kaido and Ace made their debut, there was this adventurous, uplifting song that introduced Luffy and the crew to the world. There's such a sense of optimism in the chorus, perfectly mirroring the pirate antics of the cast as they set sail. It's no wonder the anime kept bringing it back for an encore again and again. It's, it's, even, even like for anyone who has, even for anyone who hasn't seen One Piece, you can just throw so much appreciation on that song. It's so just deserved in any spot in any rankings. It's just such a great. It's, it's such a freaking catchy, happy, uplifting freaking song. Nine Odd Future, My Hero Academia. While there were a few detractors who didn't know how to feel when this song came out, it's since become a highlight of the series. Not only does it serve to build up hype for the battle against All For One, but Overworld's signature electronic edge did wonders for setting it apart from its contemporaries in all the right ways. Uh, the eclectic instrumentation there, combined with those high-pitched really vocals like complement each other so well, well that you can't help but view it as anything other than anime's very own superhero anthem. Man, I do really want to watch My Hero Academia as well. We should rewind that scene. There was some subtitles. There. You guys missed it. Hold on. It was right back here, right? There we go. The subtitles. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> My brain. My brain for a second. I was like, is she wearing an outfit? I love that when she's introduced. Um, I can't remember her name, but when she's introduced, she literally does like it's fan service for the fucking like, um, the the whatever the reporters and stuff like that. Also, on that shelf behind me, we literally have three anime figures. Two of them we haven't seen yet. Although, Demon Slayer, we are starting after we finish Overlord, and we're in season three of Overlord. Number eight, Shala Head Shala uh, Dragon Jala, Ball Z Head Shala. Dragon Ball Z. I like saying it like as one word. Ball Z. Was Rock the That's Dragon, funny. There was this belter of a song that has become as synonymous with the Dragon Ball name as Super Saiyan's Dragon Kamehameha's and that. Yamcha's continual failures. Dragon Ball Z really is just like incredibly. Because even I've never heard of. Even though I've never seen the episode, years, I even know the Kame. Kame. I can't even fucking say it. And karaoke. Kaboom. <laughs> While we got more instrumentally intense follow ups as the franchise evolved, no DB fan worth their salts is going to deny the staying power and impact Kame of Hironobu Kageyama's uh. lyrical prowess. Chala, hey, chala. Number 7, Gurenge, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. The pedigree of Demon Slayer's openings is a lot like its animation. Flashy, expensive, then hits it out the park every time. And the genesis of that stems back to this powerhouse performance. While the vocals retain a grace and elegance to it, oh. this is still a rock track through and oh. through, with a oh. chorus that hits harder oh. than Nezuko Such and guitar riffs fierier opening, than the Hinokami. Man. It's just another reason as to why this series blew up as much as it did. Lisa does not miss. Mm -hmm. Number six. Number I'm gonna pause to take a moment of appreciation for that opening because my word, it fucking slaps. It, it, I feel like if there's a top 100 anime openings of all time list, if that one isn't in the top 10, top five, don't even trust the list. A Cruel Angel's Thesis, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Maybe if Shinji had just got in the robot and blasted out this song, his life wouldn't be a turbulent void of pain, isolation, and self-loathing. Cause here I haven't seen the anime, I don't know who that character is, but fuck it out. <laughs> There's a ca- Alright, fuck me. 
That person's not living a good life by the sounds of it. On that note, this song is crazy good. It Mixed is a very good song an operatic as well. backdrop along some good old-fashioned J-pop, and you have an unholy recipe for success. It may not give any hints as to the psychological devastation to come, but it still reaches glorious heights, keeping the illusion going that we're in for some kind of shonen mecha-filled fun time. Damn you, the Anno. The illusion. I'm curious now. I'm curious. I'm curious. Is, is this an anime that's going to kick my ass emotionally? Eh? This is one I have no doubt Number will end up watching one day. Ren Eye Circulation. Ah. If you're sleeping on this yeah. franchise, yeah. stop it. Because there's so much crazy treasure to be found amongst its catalogue of battles, relationships, and visual wonderments. I have actually been told that I would actually love this anime. And the reason for that is because I watched Bunny Girl Senpai recently, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I thought Bunny Girl Senpai was amazing. It is fucking awesome. If you haven't seen it, you should 100% watch it. Um, and one of the things I loved so much about it was how real and realistic the character dialogues and interactions felt. The writing around that anime feels really, really strong. Like every character interaction feels like a real character interaction. It doesn't feel like an anime character interaction. It feels like a fucking real life interaction. All the conversations feel real. The dialogue feels real. The voice actors feel real. And I was in love with the dialogue around Bunny Girl Senpai. That's what made me just fall in love with the anime. And everyone said, if that's the reason I love Bunny Girl Senpai, then I would love Monogatari. It also spits out the occasional modern classic. Plus, you know, Bubbly, this song's bouncy, awesome. and drenched in superfluous innocence that betrays the inner turmoil of Nadako's character. This song isn't so much catchy as it is addictive. It's no wonder that it's become a staple over in the East, one capable of filling out arenas by name alone. Number yeah. four, Sparkle, your name. Oh, because of course, one of the best Brad anime Wimps, movies man. ever made would have a sublime soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And among its roster of gems, none hit harder than this. No, I agree, man. I, I get teary eyed just. Oh my god. I'm not even joking, I'm teary eyed. This song. Bad enough that its delicate melody and soulful atmosphere will already have you welling up. But the fact this beautiful track crops up moments after Taki and Mitsuha have a traumatic moment, which is undoubtedly the most heartbreaking scene in the whole film. You'll weep, no question, twice over, and you'll be happy to listen to every note along the way. Number three. Man, it's hard. It's hard, isn't it? Sparkle really has like a, <laughs> really has like a, oh, an emotional hold, especially after you've seen your name as well. It hits twice as hard. Oh, what an awesome anime movie, by the way. I should do like an anime movie tier list. We've watched a lot recently. Your name is in, is one of my favorites we've seen. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'd actually really like to watch it again. Guren no Yumiya. Attack on Titan. <laughs> the rumbling may be done. Picking a, a song from Attack on Titan to like identify as like Attack on Titan, fucking impossible. Dominating rock charts and Sasagio may still rattle in our heads, but before all that, there was this opening track. And to say it exploded across the mainstream would be an understatement. Link to Rai isn't really rocking in this one. But there's so much good music in Attack on Titan. Leaning into the more shonen side of things, though not skipping out on the darkness, Link to Ryzen's killer song is the definition of hype. Building and building before delivering on a monster-filled crescendo. Maybe this is how the scout regiment recruited people. They just had this on repeat. I'll say this now. If there's anyone out there who for some reason hasn't watched Attack on Titan yet or gave up after like a few episodes, ju just, just trust me. 
don't be one of these people that's like so anti-mainstream that you just can't be bothered to try something because those people are really annoying. We all, we all, I, we all know someone like that, right? You're probably thinking of a person right now. If I say to you, think of one person in your life who you recommend things to and they're, they're so like anti anything that's mainstream and they, they want to make sure they watch everything that's like no one knows and they're just like, oh, have you heard of this? Oh, only like three people have ever seen it. They only made like two copies of this. It doesn't make you cool, all right? Put it this way. The reason a lot of these shows are mainstream is because they're fucking good. That is the reason. Breaking Bad, one of the biggest shows of all time. One of the greatest things I've ever seen. Attack on Titan, one of the biggest anime of all time. One of the greatest things I've ever seen. I'm just saying, don't be one of those people. No one likes those people. Don't be those people. Enjoy stuff, okay? No one thinks you're cool. If you come in and you've got a drink that no one's heard of, you're eating a sandwich that no one's ever... What the fuck is in your sandwich? Oh, this is lettuce from the Kumbua tribe of the... Flippy flop people in the mountains of Kabaki, Baki, woohoo. And it's like, no one thinks, oh man, that person's cool. Everyone just thinks, what a douche. I'm just eating a fucking mayo and tuna sandwich. Don't be that person. We, we did a, um, we did a, um, we did a freaking, um, top, we did, we reacted to the first episode of, of a bunch of anime recently. Naruto was one of them. You can watch my reaction to it on the second channel, GOT Extra. Um, and honestly, the first episode of Naruto awesome awesome i can't wait to watch it one day we continue be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring go the subscribe bell to, to watch mojo about our latest they videos. made this video you have show the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them if you're on your phone also you know actually i'm gonna throw a personal shout out to watch mojo i um when i first wanted to be a youtuber years ago <coughs> years and years ago i wanted to be a youtuber and I asked a load of big YouTube channels for advice, right? This was way, 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 way ago. Um, and none of them gave a fuck about me. None of them cared, none of them replied, none of them gave a fuck. I put comments on YouTube channels, no one replied. Watch Mojo replied. They had no reason to, to reply at all. I literally just said to them, what advice would you give to someone wanting to be a YouTuber? I'm very interested, blah, 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 blah. And they replied. And I will always have a special place in my heart for them for doing that because they had, they got like 20 million subscribers or whatever. They had no reason to reply to just a random person. And yet they went out of there, they took the time out of their day to reply. So a huge amount of love to them. And make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Unravel, Tokyo Ghoul. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. This song is just fucking... Awesome. A perfect example of an opening song outliving its own anime. Everything about this track is just so on point. It's awesome. It's awesome. Vocally, it's magnificent, switching between a haunting, low key whisper before exploding into a series of melodic screams that capture the anguish of Kaneki and the ghoul race in general. Mm. Splash in some stellar animation to really drive home the themes mm. of reflections and identity, and you've got yourself something truly special that appears on just about a million TikToks, if not more. Such a good song. I actually do really want to watch Tokyo Ghoul. I know the anime gets like a lot of hate, but I do really want to watch it. I want to experience it for myself. Like, I'm not one of these people who gives a crap about what other people say. Uh, that sounds really weird. I don't give a crap what you say. That's not what I mean. I'm not one of these people that uh, who gives a crap about uh, reviews. That's a better way of wording it. Um, I would watch shit and make up my own mind um if i see people saying like this movie's great this movie's awful blah 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 blah, blah I'm, a, I'm gonna watch it for myself and decide right like so when it comes to tokyo ghoul a perfect example of this actually recently would be sword art online sword art online seems to get so much flack um it has like a really loyal fan base but also has like for some reason like an army of people who just don't like it so I wanted to experience it for myself at some point, but recently it won one of our Twitch polls and that means I have to start watching it. And I'll be honest, I was actually like terrified to begin it and we got through all of season one and I finished season one and I literally said, I don't understand why people will hate this anime. It's very good. And we're now halfway through season two. And again, I don't understand why people don't like it. It's very good. So unless something massively huge happens, like for example, Game of Thrones. This is the example I always use. Game of Thrones is, an, is a TV show that 
it, like, if you're going to start now, you're going to love it all until the end. And that's just how it is, because that's the part. So Sword Art Online could be a victim of that. I could end up just loving it all, but it just has a terrible ending and it ruins the whole show, like what happened with Game of Thrones. That could be the case. But as it stands, really enjoying it. Don't understand where it gets hate from. Um, and Tokyo Ghoul, I, a lot of people that don't like Tokyo Ghoul all say the same thing. It didn't do the manga justice. The manga is way better. And as someone who hasn't read the manga, if I just go into Tokyo Ghoul blind, will I enjoy it? Like, you know what I mean? I don't have any reference points. So if I just go in it, I'll watch it as someone who, that'll be like my only form of consuming it. And even if the manga's better, if I haven't read the manga, then I have nothing to compare it to. Maybe I will just really like it. So it is something I'm very curious about, especially when the opening is that good. How can you not want to watch the show? Um, this was actually a lot of fun. Like I said, this one was a bit different. It was interesting having like a commentator going over, going over all of it. I wanted to check out what were considered the top 20 most popular anime songs of all time. Can't really argue with this list. I pretty much agree with everything on here. Um, and I just really, really, really freaking enjoyed it. Um, I think this was like a cool idea for a video. If you guys have any other cool ideas for anime videos, openings, endings, OSTs, whatever, that you would love to see reactions to on this channel, put them in that comment section down below. I'll be doing another quiz in a few weeks, I can imagine, because I want to do them more regularly um, and practice. I feel like doing more quizzes is a good way to practice. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe, and make sure before you leave a comment down below, you do press the subscribe button because it does boost your comment. Anyway, have yourself an amazing day. I'll be live on Twitch tonight if you want to join me for that. We're doing an anime tournament, big anime tournament tonight. So if you want to join me for that, make sure you join me on Twitch, 8.30 p.m. UK time, live tonight. I'll see all of you there. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.